All right, here's game plan day. We got a pocket full of knives. We're gonna be talking about some knives today. A little EDC reveal with Larson. Give you some tips, give you some tricks. My personal EDC, little suggestions, stuff like that. Let's get into it. So we're going to be starting off with best bang for your buck knife. EDC, you know, let's see if I can get camera, maybe. There we go. Okay. So best bang for your buck EDC is definitely going to have to be, why is this, I can't get a good angle. This is funky. Anyways, getting a little off topic. This right here, Kershaw, I believe it's a Kershaw chive. That's what I believe it is. It may not be. Don't correct me if not. Nice little spring assisted. I think they're like 60 bucks. I know if you don't want to like spend, they're a good quality knife, guys. They are a great quality knife. There we go. Great quality knife for the money. Nice, sharp here. I'll give you a little bit better. Kershaw chat for you. 64 bucks, you can buy them off Blade Ops. I can't remember Blade Steel on it. It's Kershaw, American made it, I think. But yeah, just a nice little it's a nice little, nice little thing for you to carry, little pocket thing. I've got no pockets on on these pants, so just what sure will do. Can't really tell it's there. Maybe yeah, you can't tell it's there. Just great knife. I love the OD green aluminum scales on it. Solid knife. All right, for this next little bit. Changing location, changing seats. I'm little chair now. This is gonna be easier. Can see what I'm doing. Mirror tech tip worked too well. So just to like get that back to you, here's the Kershaw chive. Just a little repeat, a little better view. Yeah. I would go back and redo all this, but I'm too lazy to. Simple as that. All right, now for best classic style knife, it'd be a buck one twelve. Let's be real. A buck one ten is probably ideal. It's like classic. Everyone loves a buck one ten. But then, like, the 112 is just smaller, better EDC, in my opinion. Better carry. 112 autos, though. The, any, the 110 or 112 autos, those are fun. I don't have one. It's one of my dream knives, but those are nice. Those are actually really nice. EDC, I don't know as much about. I don't, wouldn't recommend an auto for an EDC, but I'm still going to do that in this video. Yeah, it's just, like, 112's personal preference. All right. I'm for, like, the substitute for a 112. Can I show you what it's like? I've got this collector's edition Remington. Just kind of something like this, except Buck. Buck just does it well. Buck's like the original, the Buck knife is what I think. When you see a knife like this, it's known as the Buck knife. I'll give you a little better look at that. Or 200. It's a nice little knife. I like it. Have I carried this before? Yeah, have I carried this? See, if I'm going to carry a knife somewhere I'm not supposed to carry a knife, I'm carrying this. Or like my little tiny Gerber I've got over there, but I'm not going to review that it's a piece of junk. So yeah, buck one twelve. That's my recommendation for the classic category. Okay, let me get one thing out of the way. Don't carry an auto knife if you're not sure about your state laws. Like here in Kentucky, I cannot carry an auto knife since I'm under twenty one. I think I can be in possession of one. I am. 
I got for a birthday one time. I think I can be in procession. I don't know. Don't snitch. Don't be a snitch. Quote of the day, folks. But yeah, like, here's the thing. The autos are just cool. Like, a good old Switchblade OTF. It's just cool. Okay, it's a little Cobra Tech. It's like 70 bucks. 70, 90 bucks. 70 to 100, I think, is the price range on them. Just a nice little double action OTF. Just so fidgety. But yeah, it's nice. It's, um... I believe it's D2 blade steel. Yeah, D2 blade steel. Nice little OTF. All right. If you're not sure about your laws, don't carry an OTF out, guys, because like here in Kentucky, you have to have a concealed carry license to be able to carry an OTF. Which I don't understand. It's just a knife. I don't see like what makes this more dangerous than um here. Spider Co. Spider Co. We'll get into this one later. You guys will see why this is my top knife. See, I don't see the difference in this because it's I guess it's ease of use. Hmm. Yeah, just don't carry an auto, like an EDC. You can if you want, if it's legal. But it's like, they're so, like, why do they have to be, like, restricted and stuff? It's not fun. At least it's like, you can own them in California, I think. Oh, no, I do know. You can own them in California, blade has to be under two inches, which I believe this is... Yeah, about three to four inch long blade, somewhere in that range. <laughs> Don't ask how I know that, it's just do. Um, but yeah, under two inches for Kelly legal. This would be illegal in California. I don't think it's a felony. I hope it's not. That'd be bad. So yeah, just don't do an auto for an EDC knife. Okay, right. time for my top two. Like, these are my go-to knives like well i want to say top two yeah these are my regular concealed carries that have been for recently so for the longest time i carried a buck sprint pro little flipper ball bearing it's got it's ball bearings inside it's not um can't remember what the word i'm looking for but it's um super nice not assisted just drop close drops close effortless love this thing so like it's just, it's a buck. You can't go wrong with a buck knife. I love this thing. The marbled car carbon fiber. Like, I wish I had a good camera, not an iPhone, to show you guys so you guys could appreciate, like, how good of a knife this is. You got the marbled car carbon fiber. We'll see if you can see this. And then the red hardware, red backspacer, and then just that nice, beautiful blade. It's, um, I can't remember the blade still. Oh, S30V, S30V, that's right. S30V blade steel. It's got a boss heat treat on it. Durable knife. I love this thing. I I carried this for about... How long did I carry this? Like a year, two years? Pretty long time. It's a gift from my grandparents. I love this thing. Absolutely love it. And also, if you want any of these knives, I'm pretty sure you can go find it at... um, What's the um, website I'm looking for? Oh, Blade Ops, Blade HQ, um, smkw.com. All great websites, um, and I like them. All right, now for my most recent EDC, and it's my most recent addition to the collection. Love this knife. It's the Spyderco Paramilitary 2. Like, you can't go wrong with the Paramilitary 2, y'all. It is big. That's all I'm going to say. It's S45 VN, blade steel. But just like, Spidey flick it, you can just... Open it slowly with your thumb. Compression lock. That's what I love. The compression lock on it, which is on the back right here. Just for your finger to, you know, kind of gu it doesn't quite guillotine close, but it it's I throw a little KBO on there. KBO, is that the stuff I'm looking for? I don't know, y'all. My knife terminology is a little whack. My brain ain't really working right now. Compared to a liner lock, like on the buck, which see if y'all can see that. See that little bar right in here? Right here. That little bar right there. That's a liner lock, which is most common. Like all the most of those knives are. But yeah, Spider Co Paramilitary too. G10 scales, I believe. Like I want to buy some like carbon fiber scales, some like red and black shred carbon fiber. It looks so good. But I just love the love it ergonomics are great 
See, for the longest time, like, I'll hand this knife to someone, they're like, oh, this is how you hold this knife. You hold it like that. So I'm like, no, you don't. Thump, right there. Right on the hump. Super ergonomically friendly. And then, like that. That's how I carry it when I cut. Do I, how often do you use this knife? You can see how much stuff, like, I've just cut. Like, all the cake, all, like, that crud caked on the blade and stuff. I use this knife a lot. Yeah. Spyderco Paramilitary 2. My go-to EDC. If you want a knife, just one knife, buy this. But, like, yeah, like, all of these knives range in difference. Like, I can't remember how much the Remington is. It came in a set with a smaller little one. Like, a little case-style knife. But then it's, like, the Chive was the Kershaw one. The one I showed first. That was, um, like, 65, 64 bucks, I think, is what I paid for it. From Smoke SM... Get a little tongue-tied. Smoky Mountain Knife Works. SMKW, biggest knife shop in the world. The, I think it's like a, the Buck Sprint Pro is MSRP for 120. 175 MSRP for the Paramilitary 2. I could be wrong. It could be 200. And then I can't remember Cobra Tech exactly. I want to say it's anywhere from 70 to $100. Yeah. Those are, um, I'll show y'all the, my personal favorite. These are my top two EDCs. Show y'all again. Great knife. Great, 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 great knife. Bop. Love this thing. If y'all get any knife, get a spider kill. Spider kill is my top recommendation to anyone. All right, so now time to list them all. Tier list, I guess. All right, so before we get into like the tier list of those knives I just showed y'all, give a little overview of, I'm gonna give you my honorable mentions to the tier list first. So it would have to go, all right, my first ever puck knife was this Gerber. When I talk about that piece of crap Gerber, this is the one I refer to. It's, um, I can't remember what blade steel it is. An easy out, is that what it's called? A Gerber easy out? This thing is, don't do this at home. So dull, so dull. Like a piece of paper maybe, I don't. Uh, maybe I do. Yeah, I do. Piece of card stock will work. Yeah. Put a bit of force. Whoa. So yeah, easy out that to mention. Honorable mention. It's more of a memorabilia thing. It's not like I like it uh, the best. Next, these little Stockman style knives, these little trapper knives, I guess you can call them. This, came, this is the other knife that came in the set with the uh, Ruger, or Ruger, the Remington, the bigger Remington I showed you. Let's see if I can get both of them open. Nice little knife. Like, this is like light, 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 light. If you want something just quick, easy carry, just buy one of these. They're like a, <laughs> I don't want to sound like a Buck snob, but Buck makes a really good one too. Next up on the list, I have no clue what this Gerber is. All I know is it's got orange stuff caked in and the serrations on it. I don't know what this is. I just remember trading my dad for it. All I remember. I traded him like a bri... What did I trade him for? I gave him a fixed blade. Yeah, I gave him a big fixed blade for it. Not a really big fixed blade. Decent sized one for it. it was, they were both like the same price category. Like, I think... I can't remember. I know I want, I know they're under 50. I know both knives are under 50. And we're like, here, let's trade. So my, uh, I'm surprised I didn't put this on the list. Multi-tools. Multi-tools are key. They are amazing. This one's a little fat. It's a little fat boy. It's great. A Leatherman is superior. No, don't let anyone tell you different. Gerber Leatherman, best two multi-tools. This one's got a flashlight. Like the scissors. Crusty blade screwdrivers, a wand opener, because, you know, we're proper men here, even though, even though I'm underage, 15. We like to be proper around here. <laughs> yeah, those are my honorable mentions. If you're going to buy any of these honorable mentions, go with any multi-tool, preferably a Leatherman or a Gerber. That's my recommendation, personally. Time for my final rankings. You know, kind of like the 
This is it. This is it. This is the big game. This is the final rankings. Exactly how it's going. This is it. This is the finale. Y'all ready for this? So I've got a piece of. It's like a. It's stationary. It's a piece of stationary paper. Since I couldn't find a blue fleece piece of paper. This will work. I'm going to go through, do a sharpness test on all of them. I know which ones are dull. Don't judge me for it. My two favorite knives are dull. Yes, I understand. We're going to start with the um, Remington. Kind of ripped at the end, if y'all can see that. More from being a smooth cut to more of a rip. But it still, it still did fine. Next up, Kershaw. Ugh. Nah, that ain't working. Yes, I've not sharpened this thing in so long. Wasn't really sharp to begin with either, but that didn't really that didn't really work. Not looking good for the Kershaw. Next up, let's go with the Cobra Tech. I know this one's gonna be. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Eh, kind of ripped it. Not really. We're fine. Cobra Tech sharp. The buck. Oh yeah. Yeah, the smoothest. Not the easiest cut. Got to use some force to it, but it's still got. Eh, kinda. She'll cut. Not as well as I'd like. Oh, that was actually good. Yeah, she'll cut. They all cut decently ish. And then finally, paramilitary too. So this is. It should be pretty dull. Like I've used this thing a lot. Oh, but no. Oh no. This is why the paramilitary 2 is top of my list. It's why it's gonna be number one. We all know it. Now you look at this. It'd be stupid to go any further. But yeah, time for the tier list of them all. Number five. There's five yeah, number five is gonna be the Kershaw. Y'all know it was coming. It didn't perform too well on the sharpness test, and it's a great knife. Don't get me wrong, but like, if it's if you're if you don't want to spend money on a good quality, high quality knife, go with Kershaw Chive. Like, out of the box, they're sharp. That's just dull. It's my fault. I don't want. To, I'm just kind of sharpness test show y'all. I didn't sharpen it my, to its full potential. I feel like there's better ways to do this testing. All right, next, <laughs> next, I'm gonna be honest. It's the Cobra Tech. This is a great knife, don't get me wrong. One of my favorites. But it's not like a great everyday carry, to be honest. Like, it's not... Sure, it's reliable. Here, I'll show it off for something real quick. A little sketchy with this, but... Zoomed right by. It's not going to do it, is it? Let me grab another piece, because that this that's stupidly sketchy. Yeah, that's the thing I like. If that was your hand, kind of comes off tracks. There we go. Just kind of got to push it back on. We're good. But yeah, like with laws and stuff, it's not it's not the best everyday carry. All right, next on the list, we're going the Remington, or the the Buck, the Buck One Twelve substitute. Love this thing. Like I love any, I love any Buck. I don't have one, which means like I feel like it's wrong to rank it. But I still just love buck knives. Like a 110 and 112, those are classics. You can't get me wrong. If you're a knife guy, you know those are classic knives. And this is kind of my substitute for it. I carry it pretty often. I enjoy it. One up there. Now for my top two. Who's going to be number one? You already know. You already know it. Like, let's be real. Number two is the Buck Sprint Pro. Great knife. Love it. Great action. Like, it's effortless. Like, just, I can, like, can I fuck? No, I'm not going to try that. See, thumb. That's stupid. That's stupid. See, it has good retention. If I shake this, it's not going to come out. Just great knife. It works when you need it, too. Very reliable. Did I just hit my nail? Oh. All right, number one. Y'all guessed it. Paramilitary, too. Y'all knew it was coming. Yep, y'all saw from every little aspect, like, this thing holds an edge well. 
reliable, durable, big boy, big chunky boy. Great knife, great ergonomics, everything about it's great, y'all. If you're gonna buy a knife, <laughs> just buy a pair of military too, or any spider co knife, to be honest. I know there's all the, there's gonna be, I know like all my friends and stuff, a lot of people I know are like, oh, buy a, buy a Benchmade, Benchmade's the best. Uh, Benchmade's good, but Spider Co's just them. It's that company, let's be real. A good paramilitary three, paramilitary two is beautiful. A Shaman's beautiful, it's a great knife. Like, have y'all, like, a little bit of a tangent, but if you're gonna buy a knife, buy paramilitary two or paramilitary three, but if you like knives, get a Shaman. They're fun, they're cool and little knives. So yeah, I guess that's my tier list. Thank y'all for watching, and um, have a good one.